Okay, we're, as you can see, we're here. And this is just another epic, awesome trip, folks. There are about eight wineries. They aren't even selling the wine. You can't even buy a bottle. And you go around and you just taste different brands. Look at this. This is just behind this little restaurant. And it's a, it's a barn, I think it's from about 1860. Whatever it was, just sitting there with the trees growing into it. This is worth a picture. Of course, up there, there's an old trailer, which is very apropos for the lost RVers. Look at that. What a beautiful place to live. Look at this. We got a little band's playing. A little chair here. I'm going to sit right here. Watch this. We just found this. Oh, look at that. Tin roofs. Look at the mountains. This guy's the bass player. Cow, root, pig, and wife. Oh, look at that shed over there. This is at least 150 years old. Look at that. And look at all the, look at all the, and it's very small. It's like someone's back of a, it's back of a restaurant. This is a house attached to the restaurant in the front. This is the backyard. It's a garden. They set up this charity fundraiser for the firefighters and first rescue, first responders. And we have a lot up here. People go dying in these rivers every day. And there's probably eight vineyards, man. Oh, I'm what are you drinking, babe? This is a Syrah. And this is a white Ganache Chardonnay. Blend. There you go, baby. Ganache. This toast to YouTube, to Traveling Robert, to Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit of RVing. We bid everyone out there in YouTube land a wonderful day, and God bless you all. Right, baby? God bless you. God bless you. Amen. How do you like that? All right, we'll be back, man. I'll show you all the vineyards. Bye. A cacao root pig and wife. Oh yeah, we're getting back up to where I like it. I started taking. This, this is this is the guy himself. Yeah, that's the guy. That's 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 his vineyard. He only lives. He only grows about 22 miles away from us. Those are his dogs to keep the darn birds out. And there, what's your name, sir? Grant. Grant. And this is your vineyard. And look at. I want to show you folks. Look how he has this all worked out. Port, 2015 cab, 2012, that's a $40 model if you go into, into any store. You want that one? There's a red, 2015, 2017. Okay, is it sweet or? Sangurisa, 2018. Syrah, 2013. Grenache, 2016. This guy is the real deal, folks. <laughs> We try to make it, This guy is the real deal. And he's up here in Sierra City supporting our firefighters. And he says he has a whole truck of this for sale. Wow, this is just... I'm just going to swing around just show you... I talk to my phone. It's, it's like I'm a psychotic. <laughs> but we do, we do get a lot of... We do get a lot of views. Especially when we go to vineyards. Okay. This is a hundred percent. He doesn't seem to want to talk to us, but man, this is one. Well, see this long black line. That you Look can't. at the dates. Oh, right, that, right. That's how I can tell. 2012. And this is this says, says the same thing, but it only says hundred percent cash. All right, Calvary Pagan life. Lost our ears. Find uh, something else. Video. Wow. Okay, we're back. I'm trying not to spill my wine. People are up here on this little mezzanine, and they're just throwing typical California wine event. It's so cool. So we're trying each wine, and there's some good vintage. I know 2012 doesn't sound old to a lot of you guys, but 2012 is a it's a $40 bottle of wine if you get it at a regular liquor store. Oh, they're over there. Go grab it. Go try to get something over there. I'll meet you up there. And uh, so you go around and you sample each one. So this is Cal Rupa. I tried that. And this one. I tried. Okay. Bingo. 
<laughs> this is a, uh, I swear it's the oh, yeah. a red blend, <laughs> they, and they swear by it. You're out of the No, we have okay. both, but you say it has a uh, Rodney Strong in Boy, we're getting particular now, huh? Yes. We are. People don't understand um, that, that every time you drink that much wine, if you do it too many times, you don't feel it. But when you want to walk down those rock stairs... Had all these you're gonna to have to. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this right over. I don't want to hit you. All right, give me one of your plans. All right, so this is Southern Wines and Spirits. No, it's not so good. How are you? It isn't. Well, it is. It's a. It's a company. It's not the one. Nice to see you out here. Anyway, it's a 2015 Red Blend, and we'll try it. There is no Southern Wine and Spirits anymore. I mean, I may be called up to do t TV wine tasting after this little thing, right? All right. We'll talk to you in a bit. Look at that building. When was that built? Any guess? 1856? I have no idea. Ron, when was the hotel built? So this is 1853 and 1871. When was that? So that was about eight. And this was built behind it. Prior, probably. 1851. See you guys. Cow Root Pig and Wife, known as the Lost RVs. Okay, for this one. Got to go for a Sierra fine wine. So what's the bliss? Blend of what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I had that one from you. I didn't have, I was going to come back and have the Zinfandel 2013. The Zabo or Zabo? The Ho? That's over Zabo. Zabo. And where is it? Where is it grown? It is a Sierra Foothills. That's our backyard? Nevada City. That's where we it's closing down. I say for thirty dollars uh, for a three-hour event. You stay for the three hours. But they, uh, oh, thank you very much. So the band's still playing up there. There's the fountain. I showed you the wines the best I could. It's closing down. See you guys. See ya. Hey, we may, we may, we may. Uh, now that I know you're at the you, RV and Well, you're at the bar, right? You're right above the bar. You may yeah. be at the bar, or who knows? Maybe I'll get my wife to come over and have a beer. I doubt it. But uh, nice meeting you guys. Nice to meet you too. I'm sorry about all the bullshit. I, 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 no, you're fine. I, I, I get some wine in here. I just yeah, no, like that too. Cal Rupik, traveling Cal Robert. Rupik. The traveling long, long honeymoon. Cal Rupe Pig and Traveling Robert and the honeymoon people. The long, long honeymoon. But he's Cal Rupe Pig. I'm Cal Rupe and wife, known as the Lost RVers. Right. I'm, I'm on right now. This guy is pure Sicilian from Boston. That's his wife. And they're in Sierra City. They're staying right behind that dam. See that tin roof? They are like nobility on YouTube. They're so close to the action. They're staying in that building right there. Rocco Saloon. Rocco Saloon. They flip. Okay, the boss. That's, uh, I think I got some footage of a couple from Boston. I won't get run over again. Sierra City. No, oh, vacancy. And behind here is where they, uh, Scirocco's, is where they're having that wine deal. It's over now. We, I closed it down. Wife and friends took off on me to go back to the RVs as I perused the wine. And now I gotta make it back up the street. This is, this is Sierra City. This is an actual gold mine in town. It's kinda turned yuppie. Sorry, yuppies. I'm a yuppie. I mean, everyone would say I was a yuppie that I used to know. Um, now it's just Yuppieville, beautiful Yuppieville. Look at all the umbrellas and wine everywhere. Coffee shops, and all of California. And we're out in the middle of nowhere. We're two hours inland. Two hours inland off the 80. Three hours off the 80. A little place called Sierra City. They do a wine fest for the first responders and the firefighters. And look at we're we're in July, but we're at the end of July and flags fly daily. People love one another around here. Look at this. Look at 
Look at that. These are original 1800 structures that are being used for commercial endeavors to this day. Yeah. Sierra City, California. I don't know what day it is, July something. Uh, it was 25th when we saw Robert. 20th. Today's the 27th. These, these are all the tweaker zombies. Tweaker zombies are what we call trimigrants. Trimigrants are people who come into our county to trim pot plants. And you used to make $200 a pound for trimming. The prices dropped so much that they're, they're only getting about $50 to $70 a pound for trimming. But these are them. They're called trimigrants. Yeah, that's what happens when you drink wine and it's 98 degrees. You get real honest. Remember my stories about the near-death experience? Same thing. And this is the store that I used to come to in the 70s to buy bullets. Yes, real bullets. 22s, 30 aughts, shotguns. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> That used to be, that used to be a saloon at one time, I recall, right? And this was the market. You could get a, you could get beer, bullets. Uh, they had a little butcher in there. A phone to call home. See our country stores. Where is the bar? Okay, now we're heading back to the Sierra Skies RP Park in Sierra City. You guys with RVs, you gotta come up here if you want the true essence. That is so cool. The true essence of gold mining country. This is it. None of these buildings have changed from the original buildings. These are all original, all of them. They're original from my time period, you know, way, way 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 back in the 1970s you know before the wheel according to my kids you know when you you had to dial those little rotary things to get a phone call out i think uh, but all the most of these buildings anyway most of them but i remember this guy from a long time this has been here for probably 100 years look at the little look at the little look at the little trailer Look at that. Hey, you know it's old when it's built on rocks. That's right. You know it's old when it's built on rocks. Look at that. It's all river rock. Tin root. Well, it's been restored a little bit, but you know, this is all original. And here we go, walking down into this beautiful, tiny, beautiful RV park. So, this, this, uh, this excursion, trip number 13, Trip number 13 is, is kind of coming to an end. Now, thank God we have wives because there's no way I'm going to deal with any barbecue, any fish, any shrimp, any steaks. But uh, we can switch over to uh, IPAs. Do you have any beer? Or we just have wine? No, we got 805. We got 805 beer. I'll be puking tonight. And we got pork. Oh, port. Oh, That's some port. beautiful port. That's the best tasting port I've ever tasted in my life. And we drank a ton of wine. I mean, every variety you can have. This one day trip cost us so far. <laughs> I don't know, 95 in gas, 179 in, in groceries, which we won't eat. So. And uh, let's see, 60 bucks a night for the two lodgings and... How much was the tickets for the wine? 30. So we're into this overnight or cheaper for about 300 bucks. That's about right, 300. This guy pulled up his Class A at about four miles a gallon. Oh, come on, give it nine. Oh, yeah, nine. I bet you didn't get nine coming up hey, here. 11 on a good day. 11 on a good day going downhill. Hey, it's a 460, man. That's I turn right. I turn off my I turn off my engine, I turn off my air conditioner, I turn off my pumps, I, and I and I put it I put it in a neutral and I and I coast down from 8,000 feet down to 3,000 feet. I get 13 miles to get. You should get zero. I can't get zero. 
And when you're going up, the damn thing is going negative, negative three. You owe us two gallons of gas. You've gone a mile. Uh-oh, another black truck. Man, everyone had black trucks. we get run over. Okay, so this has been kind of a, a long-winded, a lot of things going on. Dead people, cemeteries, drunk people, wine people. Uh, this guy right here. This guy should do a YouTube. If you ever wanted to know how to fix anything, what kind of car you got? You got Dodge Plymouth, he has Dodge okay, Dart. Go, he, he just, he I'm named. Car, man. This guy can do anything. And there we are, we turned the corner, and there is my truck. Next to that, whatever that thing is, that oh, class God. A, boat. that class A boat. Okay, we're back at our campsite. Hey, our, yeah, it's Sierra Skies. Yeah, if I had any energy, I'd go down that river, but Eric said that it was a pretty tough walk. And yeah, I've been walking too much, so I'd do some gold mining. Cal Root Peg and Wife having fun up here. This is Saturday, July 27th, I think, 2019. And we will talk to you later, folks. Remember, subscribe. It's fun. See ya. Okay, this is another overnighter. We're pulling out of the Sierra <laughs> RV park. And uh, it's okay. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. But if you're, if you're trying to go to a wine event and you want to be right across the street in Sierra City, this is where you'd come. There's our buddy, and there's our buddy over there in the RV. Yeah, we drink enough wine to choke a horse. All right, we'll catch you on the way out. I lost so much of this video. Again, camera problems. I don't know what the, the gig is, but here we are. Sunday morning, we gotta be back in two hours. Talk to you, oh, check this out. Just to let you guys know, make sure you check this. We almost lost our trailer. That hole right there. It was on the last two threads. It almost came off. See you guys later. All right, buddy. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Thanks for having us. And uh, thank God uh, my friend looked at it and goes, uh, that looks loose. Turned it twice and it came right off. We almost lost that thing. And it was bouncing real bad. And I thought it was the road. It wasn't. It was a trailer hitch. Precautionary tale. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Cow Root Pig and Wife, known as the Lost RVers. Homeward bound again. Bye. Oh, babe, does that make you feel small? Um, it makes me feel powerful. It's like I could reach up and yank it down. Now look at that. Wow, you can ski down that, huh? Cool. All right, we're leaving Sierra City. If you ever wanted to know what Sierra City looked like, here we go. Oh, of course, my phone fucked up. All right, this is ridiculous. Here we go through Downeyville. This is Downeyville. This is old Downeyville. We come down to this one lane bridge. It's the Jersey Bridge, 1938. 1938. I don't remember coming across here. Yeah, we did. Oh. This is an old, 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 old town. Historical Downeyville. And back in my day, back in my day, you came up here and all you saw, no joke, were miners and guys with guns strapped to their hips and uh, bought bullets right there in this town and this used to be called the Quartz Cafe. But now it's like sushi. That wasn't there. And this, this thing had one pump. Still had one pump.
crash here. Okay, that's Downeyville, California. Trip 13. With our F-150 and Jayco 175 RD. Cal Root Pig and Wife. Known as the Los RVers. And we'll see you. It's just so... Alright, this is the Yuba Bridge. I'm so frustrated right now. This is the Yuba Bridge. The photo that I wanted to take today in studio. You can see anything down there. Rocks. All the nudies are coming up here Sunday. <laughs> you want to go get naked, honey? About. And uh, let me know if you. Now that's what it usually looked like. So, just bumper to bumper. So this is Sunday. Damn it, damn it, damn it. We're getting a late start. Late start? What do you mean late start? Boy, look at this road, huh? This is what you have to deal with. That's Pacific Crest Trail, Independent Trail. Concludes. Thus concludes trip number 13 to uh, Sierra City for a, a wine sampling event. Pretty and much. And tasting. And tasting. And tasting. Which you just saw, I hope. And uh, we're we're heading back home. It was an overnighter. So in the last four days, we've done two trips. One out to Petaluma, Napa Sonoma, Mendocino, and uh, we drank beer from a brewery, meeting up with Traveling Robert, Traveling Robert Morales. And I spent the night, camped next to him, came back, two hour, three hour trip, took five hours. And this one, as you just saw, was just mountainous. And out in the middle of nowhere, but you saw a little bit of Gold Country, California. Right. So we're gonna say adieu. Trip number 14. We're still 13, working on. Right? This is trip 13. The end of trip 13. But trip number 14 is going to be a mystery. A mystery. So we've uh, had conversations about Monterey, California. Uh, this is true. Uh, Fort Bragg again. And Quincy, right? Then you mentioned Quincy. So it's either the Sierras or the ocean. Either way, you know, 3,000 feet down or 4,000 feet up. So from Cal Root Peg and wife known as the Lost RVers, glad to have you along on this journey. Hope you uh, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you. Hold on, I gotta pass this car doing 45 going downhill. Of course, a Volvo. <laughs> I uh, hope you see us next time and uh, come along for that ride. Until then, got Root Pig and Wife, known as Lost RVers, saying we'll see you on the road again sometime soon. Bye.